Your GCSE physics exam is tomorrow, so I'm here to give you some last minute tips to make sure that you can ace that exam. So let's get straight into it. My first tip is that when questions talk about energy stores or transfers, make sure to use that terminology in your answer. Energy was transferred here. This is an energy store. My second tip is to please not forget to add units to your answers. I said this for chemistry, but it's so much more important in physics because there's so much more maths. So make sure you don't forget to add all the units to the end of your answers so you can get the extra marks that come with that. My third tip is that the model of the atom hasn't come up in four whole years. This could be for either GCSE chemistry or GCSE physics though. So, um, do with that what you will but the point is that make sure you look over it before the exam because there's a good chance that it might come up if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more from me please i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe we're nearly at 2,000 whole subscribers so please subscribe it doesn't cost anything and let's get back to the video my fourth tip is to make sure to bring in a calculator please please bring in a calculator physics is such a high percentage of maths if you go in without a cal calculator you're immediately so much more disadvantaged than everyone else my fifth tip is that in terms of electricity do not forget that current is the same across a series circuit but it splits in parallel circuits that's something i see so many people forgetting so make sure you remember it for your exam my seventh tip is to sub numbers into equations before rearranging the equation to work out your answer. Because if you rearrange an equation wrong, then sub in the numbers, you won't get the marks for it if you are wrong in the end. But you'll still get marks for subbing numbers into a correct equation that hasn't been rearranged yet. So write out your equation, sub your numbers into that equation, then rearrange it and find your answer. So if you are wrong in the end, you will still get marks for writing out the equation and subbing in your numbers into it. Those are all my tips for GCSE physics. You guys are probably going to do really well on the exam. Well, hopefully. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a good exam day.